Ka-ching! What's up, Money Geeks? Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So in today's video, we are going to do a review of our trade. Um, today, Tuesday, if you can see here, uh, we traded Wish, um, Cooler Technology, and um, ALF, A-L-F. Um, I mean, wasn't a excellent day like I would have expected, but I mean, uh, if you're green for the day, you're green for the day. Um, I mean, a couple of what happened last week, last Thursday and Friday being red days for me. So I'm super excited with, with this green. So that's what I want us to cover in today's video. But before we get started, guys, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. If there's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. So let's jump right in and take a look at the trades and kind of discuss what happened there. So the first one on that list is Wish. Uh, so Wish, as you can see here, right out of the gate, I'm going to go back here a little bit. So pre-market, see, it was pretty mellow pre-market. So I had this on the watch list because I'm anticipating that there was volume coming in towards, um, you can see here, towards uh, open. So I was anticipating that it was going to be a pop. And I think my price target for which was, uh, I think, $15 or $16 for the day. Um, but as you can see here, we never made it up there. So right out of the gate, it came out here, popped a little bit. And now I'm not looking for it to spike, but it's pulled back. And then uh, consolidate a little bit, cross VWAP here, establish this candle right here. Um, even though I got in and this trade somewhere around here, that is, this is not really a good candle in my opinion. Um, and again, I, I was just forcing this trade because I should have waited. Even though it worked out in my, in my favor, next time I'm not going to do this because if you see here, this doji on the top, on the bottom, I don't like seeing those dojis. I like to see a clean candle um, setting a new high. And then same thing here. But Stochastics told me that this was going to go up. So once it crosses VWAP, and I'm like watching to establish our my entry point, I uh, want me the next one in the candle to make a new high, which is this one right here. It actually made a new high. Um, so I got in. And then it squeezed all the way. I got it about uh, 13, I think like 13.6 or so. And then it squeezed all the way to 14. I got it at 14.30. So I didn't see the top there. It's at 14.43. I didn't, I didn't get there. 14.30. Um, so I got out. And then it, it, so when I got up at 14.30, somewhere around here, um, it pulled back again. So I'm like, okay, that was an excellent exit point. And how do you know that was an a, a, a exit point? Right here, stochastic is crossing to the downside. CK line crossing to the downside. So I'm like, get out of here. So I got out. It pulled back and then spiked up again and set a new high of 14.43 before pulling back. And then after that, it just kind of went down south until our... Uh, I mean, later in the day, see, made this little move here, but never really recovered until after hours. It's still just sitting there. So that was uh, Wish. So next one is Cooler Technology. Uh, again, this is one that we've talked about here on the channel. And I told you guys when this thing was getting ready to pop, it popped um, and then made a quick reverser. So this thing went up to a high as um, over $5 uh, within two or three days and then pulled back to where it belonged. So got up this morning there was really no action uh pre-market so i was looking at pre-market no action and then the market opened and then it kind of popped on on again showed a little bit of volume and um this is a stock that doesn't have a ton of volume so i saw a little bit of volume right there and so i got in this one about 2.1 or so 2.1 somewhere here i know that 2.1 or 2.3 somewhere here i got in here and then it's going to squeeze all the way to that uh 2.46 and then that's where I got out about 2.4, I think 2.42. That was my exit. Just because there wasn't that much action. I mean, like it took quite a little bit for that to even fill, which is kind of crazy. And I don't even know why I was trading this. It's just because, I mean, I was just looking around and trying to see what was popping, even though I missed out on some other trades. But I mean, it turned out, I mean, positive trade to uh, take that um, any day of the week. Um, other than that, um, nothing after that. If you can see, it just stayed mellow until after hours it popped a little bit but nothing has really happened since then again you can see there's really no volume with this stock um this one is a stock that i'm anticipating that it's going to pop here uh in the near future as soon as um, people start talking more about it wall street start to see uh, what these guys do you're going to see this stock pop so i actually have this one long term um so but again i'll still trade it just to uh, make some extra money while holding it long term 
And then the other one that I traded was AF, as I told you guys. Uh, the ticket symbol here is uh, ALF. So you can see this this would have been one that I, I probably would have made money from this one. If I had just traded this thing all day, I would have made some money. But uh, somehow I didn't trade it. I just completely left this one until after hours. I'll show you guys. Um, after hours, so came back it, it, after hours it popped i was i was i was outside i came back in i saw it pop i look at uh so i looked at uh stochastic here it already made this move all the way up here and back and then and i kept watching it so i'm looking right here uh, if you can see look at stochastic right here so i'm thinking it's gonna cross over and then and then pop back to the upside so i got in i got in right here at about 16 i think 16.8 uh somewhere here and then it popped for a second and then remember that this is after hours so you don't really have stop loss slash take profit you don't have bracket orders so what i did is i went and put in my sell order at 18 dollars um hoping i was, I was going to move it up if this thing kept gapping up i'll move it up and continue to take to wait for a, a good uh exit point just for me to watch this thing it popped a little bit and then pull back and i'm thinking maybe it's just consolidating the pop next thing i know it flushes um, I give it a few seconds again. Um, good thing I didn't take a, a big position. That's why I only, only lost just a really small amount of money. So I just pulled my sell order that was sitting at 18 quick down here and just put it there and got out of the trade. But as you can see, guys, like I said, this would have been a good one. If he held this thing all day to make good money because up in here, a low of nine um, and then squeeze all the way to almost 15, uh, $16 for the day. Uh, after hours all the way to 1730 as you can see here so it would have been a really good one but after hours you could have flush down back to 13. um so giving back all the, ga the gains that it had so those are the, the ones that I actually made profit on and um one that i lost money on so those are my trades for the day again i'm still looking at uh, some of the stocks that are still uh one that was so disappointing today was uh trch torchlight um that one completely fell flat um for some reason because uh again they offered um they do they did another offering they had off they offered to raise a hundred million and then they came out on uh, monday and said they were gonna raise an additional 150 million making it 250 and obviously investors didn't like that that's, that's why i took a beating so you can see here from the highs of yesterday um 11 71 um at uh after hours it's just from there it was just a downward trend until today it's finally down to six dollars and some changes you can see after hours here so uh, i'm not sure how quick this one is going to bounce back but if you're looking to buy this one long term i'll say just pump the brakes and wait it's not probably not a good time so just wait so that's it guys let me know again in the comment section what you think if you're new to the channel we talk about how to earn money how to save money how to invest and build wealth if that's something that interests you go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. Also, if you're looking to get started with investing, Weibo has their promotion where if you sign up and deposit $100, you get free stocks. Links in the description below. And as always, guys, do your due diligence. Don't be a greedy savage and stay motivated.